orchestra is trying to erase the stigma associated with mental health through music. Local 44's Courtney Adelman joins us live now with the story. Courtney. Well, good morning, Libby. Yes, the Me Too Orchestra brings people together with and without mental illnesses to play music in an accepting environment. I spoke with Burlington's conductor who says it really is an orchestra where you can come and play music and be yourself and support one another. Kim Dienelt is the conductor for Burlington's Me Too Orchestra, the world's only orchestra created for individuals with mental illnesses and the people who support them. The Me Too Orchestra is a place to come, bring your instrument, play with others who will see you for who you are, and it's a place to be and a place to become. Dienelt has traveled the world as a professional conductor and composer, but says she's never been a part of an orchestra like the Me Too Orchestra. That it's not the rat race, it's not the political game, it's not the, the status seeking, it's really, can we just be the best human beings we can be? And Kim has a personal stake in the group. Not too long ago, Dean Elt was diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder and a depression disorder. So when this job came up, definitely I was like, I could contribute. I could be healthy while I do it. I could have my own personal integrity, too. Co-founder and executive director Caroline Whitten started the organization nine years ago with her husband in Burlington. It was Ronald's idea because he's a tremendous orchestral conductor who also lives with a diagnosis of bipolar disorder. And he came to me and essentially said, I want to work with people like me. Both Whitten and her husband Ronald are professional musicians who have lived with mental health disorders. I was diagnosed in my early 20s with chronic anxiety and depression. Ronald's experiences with, with stigma and discrimination were, were more extreme. And it really got to the point in his career where he didn't feel that he could continue on in kind of the cookie cutter professional setting. He really felt that he had to create his own very safe place. Since the organization started, they have expanded into four different states and are even looking to start a group in Denmark. The orchestra is open to anyone of all ages with or without a mental illness and auditions are not required. This is more about the health and welfare of the orchestra. And now, of course, the orchestra has had to change things around due to the pandemic. They've been holding rehearsals outside, doing Zooms and social distancing. But the Burlington Orchestra is planning on having a performance tomorrow, Saturday, near Overlake Park in Burlington. But for now, reporting live, Courtney Adelman, Local 44 News.